Hi, I'm Ariana and I'm on the professional learning team at Code.org. This video will show you how to see a summary of your students' progress across different types of levels, review and leave feedback on student work, and administer one of Code.org's assessments. Some of the features in this video are only available to verified teachers. To learn how to become a verified teacher, check out the support article in the resources or at support.code.org. The progress view is the best place to see students' progress on an assigned curriculum. To get to the progress view, click the name of a classroom section on your homepage. The progress view shows which curriculum activities the students in that section have worked on. I can switch between units in the curriculum by clicking on the drop-down menu next to the lessons in. Lessons in the unit are represented by these white squares. When lessons are collapsed, you'll be able to see a few different options giving you a summary of your student's progress in that lesson. An empty green circle denotes that a student has begun working on levels within this lesson. They are still in progress. A solid green dot denotes that a student submitted work for all levels in this lesson, while an empty square denotes that a student has yet to start the lesson. Clicking on more details will expand the explanation of each icon in the progress table, allowing you to learn more about them. If I click on the lesson number, it will expand to show each level within that lesson. Each lesson may have a different number of levels. Like the lesson view, an empty green dot means the student has begun working on the level. A solid green dot means that the student has finished working on this level and click the Finish button to submit. A solid green dot with a check mark means that the level has validation tests and the student's code has passed all of them. Most levels have just one activity, but choice levels, signified by a forked arrow, allow students to choose at least one task from multiple options. In this example, the student has chosen to submit the first choice level, but not the rest. This is what choice levels look like for students. They will always have access to every option in the choice level, but you can instruct them to complete as many or as few as you'd like. The system automatically evaluates many levels in our elementary school and APCSA curricula for correctness. A solid green dot with a check mark means the student submitted the correct solution. However, programming levels in our CS Discoveries and CS Principles curricula have many possible solutions and will not be automatically validated. For these curricula, we recommend choosing one or two activities per lesson to review. You can find recommended assessment opportunities by looking for a checkmark icon on levels or in lesson plans. In addition to reviewing your student's progress, you can review your student's work and provide feedback. If I want to review this student's work on this assessment opportunity, I can click on the level next to their name. The level with the student's answer will open in a new browser tab. I can see their code and even run it to see how it works. Teachers can leave feedback for their students in the feedback tab of the instructions panel. I can also check the keep working checkbox to signal that the student should keep working on the level. When I enter and save feedback for this student, they will receive a notification when they sign in. This student can view the feedback I left them and continue to update their code on the level, but they can't write back to me in this tool. In the progress table, you'll see the following. An empty purple triangle for a coding assessment that needs feedback from you. A filled black triangle on any level for which you have left feedback. And a round arrow if you have asked the student to keep working. Teachers can leave notes for their students on most levels, but some levels also offer built-in mini rubrics to help them understand students' performance. Some levels offer example solutions in the For Teachers Only tab in the instruction area of the screen. This example solution will also be visible in the blue teacher panel on the right. Once I've finished reviewing the student's work, I can view another student's work using the teacher panel. You can sort the list of students by display name or family name. 
CS Discoveries, CS Principles, and APCSA curricula offer multi-question assessments. These assessments are generally found at the end of units and are made up of a series of multiple choice, free response, and matching questions. Assessments are locked by default to prevent students from seeing or working on the questions before it is time for the assessment to start. To unlock an assessment, click the Lock Settings button. Assessments will stay open for 24 hours, or you can manually lock them sooner. You can check your students' results in the Assessments and Surveys tab of the Teacher Dashboard. If you have questions about features you saw in this video or need additional support while teaching, you can click on the question mark in the upper right-hand corner of your screen to access additional support and resources.